So now I have all the furniture off the windows. Really the next job is to take off all the paint, take it back to wood and get it ready for painting. Um, get yourself one of these, these are going to be um, really useful. Now you can see that the wood is starting to be exposed. We're making progress. You want to be careful not to plane too deeply. I really just want to take the top coat off. I don't have a bag on this one, um, so what I'm going to try and do is fashion a bag. Take an old bag, square it up at the end. These things only cost about a fiver for a pack of 10. They're well worth it. Get yourself some. Big mistake. Big mistake. Uh, let me show you what I've done here. Taking the planer across the grain here and I've ripped off the top of the wood. It's nothing that can't be fixed. It's just that it's something that could have been avoided if I was a little bit more careful. So I'm just going to glue this bit up, clamp it, let it dry, and in the meantime, go for a cup of tea. That is really good glue. I'm just teasing open the, the wound. Now, you don't want to use too much of this glue because it's extremely potent and it does expand an awful lot. So what I'm putting on here is way too much. But what I want to do is try and get the glue inside the wound Make sure the glue gets well inside there. Not too tight, just enough to pull the wood together, get the air out and let the glue do the work. I'm gonna have a cup of tea, come back later on. Okay, so that's been probably about an hour. Long tea break. And you'll find that that is almost as good as new. Now just clean up the rest of it. So I've repaired the wood and it's going to be fine. But that's an hour and a half at least that I've wasted. And all because I wasn't careful when I was planing down the wood. Less haste, more speed. Very true. This is very close to the glass so I need to be especially careful. All I'm doing really is just scraping off the worst of it. I'll give that a rub down with some sandpaper just to take the shine off and to get a purchase. Start with a coarse grit. I'm currently sanding down the putty edges. Now, unless the putty is falling out, leave it in and then just try and repair it or strengthen it with more putty or wood filler or something. So that's the window rubbed down on a 60 grit. It's looking pretty good. I'm just gonna give it another rub down of a medium grade sandpaper. Okay. So I've just gone over the window again with a, uh, a 120 grit. It should be smooth enough now that you can rub your fingers all the way around without getting any, uh, <coughs> any joking, without getting any splinters. Next, I'm gonna give it a clean down with some methylated spirits. What I love about working with these old, old houses is that quite often, you see things like this. But that's obviously the mark or the signature of the person that made this frame. If anybody can determine what that is, I'd love to know. I just use a uh, general filler to uh, fill in any holes in the wood. Okay, so the filler's dried, it's another day. Time to sand it down. So that one is now ready for painting. Right, I'll do the other window next. Okay, so this window 
has a crack in it here, which is unfortunate. Um, because it means I've got to take the get a new pane. I've got to take the putty out and put new putty in. A three hour job to prepare this window has now been increased by, well, maybe twice as much. When working with glass, safety should always be your first priority. So we're talking eye protectors, face mask, and of course, gloves. So I've been working at this window for the last 10 or 15 minutes. This side is, uh, is clear, but this side is very stubborn. Um, I'm not gonna be able to pick that away. So I'm gonna have to bring out the big guns, I'm afraid, which is this, heavy duty gloves, Now the glass is out, it does make it an easier job to remove the putty. Got my tools ready, and it's time to sand down the surround. We probably won't take it all back to bare wood, but certainly it will be in a condition to accept a new layer of undercoat. <laughs> Sixty grit sandpaper should do the job. Okay, we're getting there. A lot of the green is only coming off with a chisel. So it was a good idea to, uh, to clean up as you go. The window frame has now been sanded down. Holes have been filled in, and those holes have been sanded smooth as well. The next step is to de-dust it, and then it's ready for painting. I like to give it a quick run over with methylated spirits. It's ready for painting now. Not bad, not bad at all.